You guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Any, time. any questions for Coach? You can go right ahead. I'll talk about East well, Carolina. <laughs> Well, I mean, East Carolina is a, it's a dangerous team because they got four guys on the perimeter that can really shoot, and uh, they're actually their leading scorer is a guy coming off the bench, uh, Tyson, number 21, and he's uh, he's a guy that only can shoot. He can he can take it off the bounce and, and drive and score it. So anytime a team, they average making eight threes a game, and they've got uh, you know three or four guys that, that average making two a game. Now, if all of them are on at once and you let them shoot, I mean they. You know, they could pile up 10, 15 threes, and then you're in trouble. So, um, you know, they're a dangerous team. Is this the proverbial quote-unquote trap game as you're coming off two big games and you've got a three-game stretch, UConn, Memphis, Temple coming up after that, where you got to make sure you got these guys focused and attention fully on East Carolina? Well, yeah, I mean, I agree. It, it could be, but uh, my, my thought is every game's a trap game, so you, <laughs> you better be ready every night out. And we had a, <clears throat> we had a long talk last night just about what success does to you. Sometimes success makes you soft if you're not careful. You know, uh, when you when you fall or stumble, if you've got anything about you, you're, you're, you're going to get back up and fight. I mean, that that's the easy one. When you have success and you have a little more success, that's when you better be on alert because at any time, you know, you can forget what made you successful, you know, and, and that that's what I worry about the most. Young people and really anybody. Uh, you, you see businesses, you know, they take off, a guy does great, and then all of a sudden, you know, he forgets what got him there. You know, the, the foundations of what got him there start to erode, and then all of a sudden he fails. And it's our job as coaches to make sure that we keep them focused and understanding why we won and don't let success make us soft. If you were maybe wondering where you guys were at on the interior, you go in, they all play well against North Carolina State, they all play well against SMU. Do you have a better gauge for those new guys and where they're stacking up right now as you're starting to get into this, the meat of the season? Well, I mean, we thought, you know, coming into the year that we were going to be able to score inside because we, we felt like we had four guys that could, you know, put the ball in the basket in there, and, and I don't think that's changed. Obviously, Corey DeBerry has, has really come on in practice. He's gotten better and better, uh, and which is great. We've got to find a way to get him on the court a little bit more. Uh, and Octavius, you know, all three of them, I, I, we kind of had expectations that they would do that coming in, how quickly they would make the adjustment to this level and all those kind of things, you know, would just be a matter of time. And, um, you know, we got to keep that up because when you have interior scoring, it helps your exterior scoring. It gets you to the free throw line sooner. Uh, there's just so many things that happen when you can throw the ball inside and those guys can actually score. You've talked about having to be you and the differences between how Mick does things, how you do things. Is one of those potentially the way that you substitute? Is there a, a different philosophy that you have in terms of maybe Mick liking to get guys quicker, shorter bursts where you like to get guys maybe from a media stop to a media stop? You know, I, I really haven't even paid attention to it. I mean, I, you know, I just, I just sub when I feel like a guy is either not is tired or is not doing what we're asking him to do and we need to talk to him. Um, so, you know, I, I really have, I don't have an answer to that, to be honest with you. I just, again, I, we try to, I try to sub based on, on if a kid's tired or, you know, and there might be a particular matchup that, that we're trying to create, something like that. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't know how to answer other than that. <laughs> Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Thank Thank you. To the point.